What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad 1412. Excited to be back with some more Madden 20 gameplay here. We got an online ranked match versus a random opponent. We have the Minnesota Vikings, uh, my second favorite team to play with on the game. I don't know what my record is with them, but I, I got to at least have about 20-something wins, probably like maybe five losses, maybe. I don't, I don't lose a lot with the Vikings, man. I mean, they're a hard team um, to lose with. And speaking of the Vikings, remember that, that Freddy Krueger slash Jason notion that I was always saying about with uh, Harrison Smith. Uh, you're definitely going to see a bit of that in this video, so brace yourself <laughs> for the comfort of that. As it's starring right here. There, 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 there you go, right there. Looking good, Billy Ray. <laughs> Let me take this one all the way to the Baja. Man, well, first touchdown of the contest. I, I'll definitely take that all day, all night, and all evening. And it, it, that's a good start. It's nice to start off like that. If every game could start off like that, um, life would be so much grander. But, <laughs> of course, that's not the case. My opponent has the Saints. I'm one of the best teams in the game. I'm not sure how this guy got this wide open, but it doesn't matter. Oh, no, this ain't the play. I thought this was the play when Freddy Krueger uh, came again. I guess he has to be Freddy Krueger. Oh, well, if he's Freddy Krueger, you know what? I'm sorry. He's Jason. I'd say probably Jamal Adams is Freddy Krueger. Because Jamal Adams, man, he, he's an absolute monster. In this game, there it go right there. there, there, there. <laughs> I swear on everything, man. This guy does he does one or two things it's either a big hit or a hit stick, and that's it. He don't know nothing else, man. I think I seen him do a regular tackle once all year, man. That's no exaggeration. We get the ball again, but like I was saying, my opponent has the Saints, one of the better teams in the game. I definitely think the Saints are a tier one team. I would. If you said they were the best team on the game, I wouldn't argue with you. Um, I'm shocked people don't pick the Saints more because they're really a good team. We're at my opponent's stadium, and I'm in like a you know pass run. I'm in a, in a pass run mode this game. I know <laughs> lately I've been in a, a pass happy mode that's been extremely aggressive, <laughs> but we've been winning some games um, nonetheless. But but yeah, we go right over the middle, fourth and three. Man, we get a huge game right there. Man, good patience by by LP by myself. Right there, you gotta be patient in the pocket. You know, don't forget to be patient in the pocket. Read the blitz coming. One of the best things that you could do in this game is to read the blitz. Take your time to look and see what your opponent is doing. As we almost get the touchdown right there, he caught that over five guys. My goodness, <laughs> but now for Cook, he'll get in there for us and get us um, a two-score game, which is always um, necessary. That's, that's just where you want to be. This is how you want uh, to start off. When you're playing a game, even though we're in the middle, I'm sorry, the bottom of the second of the second quarter. I'd say second <laughs> second quarter. But yeah, um a little bit of both, a little bit of pass, a little bit of running. You know, just trying to figure it out. You know, this is the way you kinda wanna play. I guess it depends on how you play. Let me let me say that. I keep saying uh, I keep talking about money games. We play a money game, I, I guess to a degree you gotta play your game, but make sure your game make sure your team fits your game. I don't know why he went for it right there. If that was me, I probably would have kicked the field goal. And um, I don't know. That, that's that's just me. When I, I guess he, I don't know. I guess he felt like, because the thing of it is, my first score of this contest was a defensive play. You know, you got to think about that. And the second score, yeah, I got an offer, a good offensive drive. But you know, people are going to do that to you. But it wasn't like a drive that was so efficient that uh, maybe it, maybe it wasn't his eyes. I guess you just don't know what a person's thinking now from game to game. <laughs> maybe that that drive was so devastating here. I guess he felt like. Um, if he didn't score that touchdown, you know, he wasn't going to win the game. And, you know, but it worked out good for us because we ended up getting the ball. Um, we ended up stopping him and we get the ball at half. So I I'll take it all day, all night, and all evening. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, you got to get the team that fits your scheme. Now, you cannot play with the Bears and think you're going to throw all game. That's just not going to happen. And he should have picked that off. I ain't going to lie. He should have picked that. I hope next year they make the linebackers – you know, react to the ball. That, that would be uh, <laughs> that would be awesome, EA. My goodness, but yeah, pick the team that fits your scheme. See, Vikings. This would probably be the I, I'd probably say the perfect team for me. Maybe even over the Packers. The Packers are my favorite team to play with in the game because I, I'm in, I've been in a pass happy mode for most of the year, so I've been passing like crazy. Aaron Rodgers just puts, just can put the ball in places no other quarterback in this game can. Um, I guess you could say he's the Dan Marino of our time. But as far as like if I was like to play a money game, I probably would play with the Vikings. I'm honest with you. They got a good balanced attack on defense or offense. They're hard to score on. Um, they got two stud wide receivers. Kyle Rudolph is not bad. Dalvin Cook is an absolute beast. 
I wish they had a second running back you can go to, but I guess you can kind of count the bull a little bit. And, and he's kind of, I guess, you know, Bennett is kind of fast, you know, so. And slow, so we give Dalvin Cook a little bit of a break. That's not bad. But, yeah. Love both of these squads, man. <laughs> Another hit stick right there uh, by Jason, man. My goodness. It's an absolute beast, man. He, he's half of the reason why you even play um, with the Vikings, man, to a degree. Well, not half, but he's at least about 20% why you play with the Vikings. He's an absolute monster. He's an absolute monster. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> we get the sack by uh, my man. I can't think of his name, but he's a beast as well. Fourth and 14, man. That was a good look right there. Man, he caught me slipping on that, man. Right over the middle, top of the field. And my cover two. Um, Price has been working for like last four or five games. I, I don't even really run cover two like that, to be honest with you. I just started running cover two like two, three weeks ago, and it's helped me stop those corner routes. So on third down and long, I, I, I just go to it. I know people like to go to those cheesy corner routes. You just got to back. One thing about that, you got to back everybody up. You got to back everybody up. And if you don't do that, <laughs> uh, most likely you're probably going to uh, get scored on. But. Right here, bottom of the fourth quarter, as you can see, um, as the time is uh, <laughs> slipping away from us, um, this is pretty much going to be the last drive of the game. Um, he, he quits out. We ended up giving him, make him go four out when he quits out. Um, not really sure why he quit out. He could have finished the game. It was only 30 seconds left to go into the game. I really wish they could show you know, your stats, even though I hope they can fix that. I wonder why they can't do that in 2020. I really don't understand uh, why they can't do that, even though um, the person quits. But yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You guys could have been anywhere in the world tonight, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. You're bull!